we're giving you more than just techniques in this video. We're also giving you a philosophy of defense. And our philosophy is pretty simple. The second that we feel we have successfully defended a submission hold, you must learn to take advantage of your opponent's ex uh, extended body. He's taking a risk by trying to submit you. His body's in a state of extension. And an extended body is a body that's easy to attack. So the second we feel we've passed a certain demarcation line from defense into offense, you're going to find that Jujigatami actually has some built-in weaknesses. Every Jujigatami requires the use of extended legs to control me, regardless of where we are. So anytime someone's in Juji, he has to use at least one and usually two legs extended to control my head, shoulders, and torso. That means that if at any moment my elbow were to come free, he would have two extended legs right in front of me. There's simply no way to avoid this. That means that at any given moment, as I start moving away from an opponent, you're going to find those extended legs can be attacked. The second I feel my elbow slip inside the fulcrum of his hips, it's time to start thinking about counter offense. The second I feel my elbow going over what for him is the wrong hip, it's start to, time to start thinking about counter offense. How am I going to come out of this and actually attack him? He's got these long extended legs. It won't be that hard for us to turn this to our advantage. Okay? So as we work in any Jujigatami position, I'm always cognizant of the fact that the minute I feel I'm safe from his attack, I want him to feel unsafe from my attacks. And I should always be thinking about my counter offense and taking advantage of those extended limbs. He goes to turn out, finds it difficult, and we find it relatively difficult, uh, easy now to go into our counter offense. This is a habit I want you guys to take seriously. The second your elbow is no longer compromised and you feel you have freedom of movement, don't just be satisfied with getting out of the Jujutami. He's got two legs sitting there, waving around in the breeze, ready to be locked. Go right in and turn his offense into your offense. There's a sense here in which he went to try and break your arm. You've got to come back at him now. You've got to try and break his leg. Okay, it's an eye for an eye out there. Um, this is true regardless of where we are. He's in guard position. From any situation where he goes into duty and you feel you've come out, this is time to think about counter offense. Okay, his legs are extended here. Extended legs are vulnerable legs. Okay, it's not that difficult for us now just to start coming up and into situations where you can go into your own counter offense. He tries to spin out and away and find himself in situations where you can get in on the attack. Take advantage of the extension of his body. Jujigatami has a built-in weakness. That weakness is the minute the elbow has been lost, you got two legs out there extended. So easy to attack with leg locks. So my whole guiding principle of Jujigatami escapes is work your defense, the second you feel your elbow is no longer compromised, either because you got inside the fulcrum or you turned away from the lock, switch your mindset. As soon as your elbow is free, his legs are vulnerable. Don't be satisfied with just getting out. Get out and attack his legs. That way you'll turn yourself from a defensive fighter into a counter offensive fighter. The second your elbow is free, his legs are open to be attacked.